Now, what is your opinion on Halloween? Uh, my opinion on Halloween, I, I was born October 28th, so naturally I love the fall um, right around Halloween. I wouldn't say like Halloween is my most favorite. I honestly always want to dress up, but I end up not having time or just not being all the way prepared and I don't get to dress up. But I do envy people that pick out their Halloween costumes a year in advance. And, but I do love the fall time, so Halloween gets a thumbs up for me. Have you ever dressed up? In yes. costume. I've dressed up before. Um, I was younger. Care to share what you've been over the years, if you can remember? Um, I was like Cleopatra as a kid one time. <laughs> yeah. Any other costumes? Um, I can't even really fully remember. I was mad young. I'm, I'm going to dress up this year, though. I'm going to put something together. And back then, what drew you to the Cleopatra costume? <laughs> I was doing a lot of uh, like acting and um, different things. So me and um, another uh, different, uh, uh, me and a group of kids, um, we were all into acting and we all dressed up as different, um, different people. And I had, to, they gave me Cleopatra. <laughs> Have you ever dressed up in matching costumes with someone in the past? I'm trying to really think, nah. I need to do matching costumes this year, though. That's vibey. Biggest Halloween costume mistake you've made so far? Probably Cleopatra. <laughs> now, have people ever dressed up as you before? Yes, I've definitely seen some people dress up as me um, on, like, you know how they do, like, celebrity days at high schools or um, Halloween. So it's always super fire to see somebody put on, like, really like find the right pieces to an outfit that I had on and, and snap. I love that every time. And what's that look at this point? The Cody Shane costume. Um, the Cody Shane costume is just love. Go out and look and feel like love and yeah, that's the costume. <laughs> now what about trick or treating? Trick or treating is a vibe. Even when I was in like eighth grade, ninth grade, we were still going to trick or treat even if we wasn't dressing up. I think it's cool. I think times now have definitely changed. So I don't think trick or treating is like how it was when we were young for my nieces and nephews, but it's a vibe. Like go to the big houses, go to the rich neighborhoods, knock on them doors. I feel like people just leave candy out now though. I don't even feel like people open the door and do all that no more. Now, what's the craziest item you received trick-or-treating back in those days? Probably like ramen noodles. <laughs> you received ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, I have received ramen noodles in Halloween before. That and did they a open- Long time ago. Did they open the door and hand you that? It was like a pack of noodles. Yeah, like everybody get noodles. That's crazy. Was that I from the rich neighborhood? Probably not. <laughs> you know, the, the the middle class vibe. What did you end up doing with that? I can't even tell you, Smalls. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Probably you, ain't go to waste, though. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy? Um, I'm, I like chocolate, so, like, Kit Kats is cool. I used to like getting the Kit Kats. Um, the Reese's is cool. They do a lot of, like... Halloween. I'm I don't really be messing with the snacks like that. I, I try not to mess with the snacks like that as much. I like M&M's though. Peanut M&M's are cool. On the opposite end of the spectrum, what was your least favorite? What did you always oh, just seem to leave at the bottom of the basket or the pillowcase or whatever? Almond Joy. Almond Joy. What's wrong with Almond Joy? Some in the audience are I just can't Joy get with it. I can't get with the, a coconut nougat. <laughs> That's disgusting. But shout out to the people that like Almond Joys. If you do like Almond Joys, I'm like, man, I'm wrong with that. Now, for those that have never went trick-or-treating in the rich neighborhood, what was that like? Um, I feel like the rich neighborhoods, they just had a more of a variety of candy. Or they might have, like, the, like, you go to regular neighborhoods, they got the small, the snack size. You might go to the rich neighborhood, they got regular size Snickers and regular Reese's. And, you know what I'm saying? You get the big one, the regular size. One. Would they ever so, hand out money? Uh, I ain't never got no money on Halloween. I would have been back to that house every year. <laughs> have you ever passed out candy yourself? Um, yes, I remember being young and like, you know, my mom's getting the candy ready or uh, being at my dad's getting the candy ready. But 
we would always end up going trick or treating. So, you know, I remember it being candy to be passed out, but I wasn't necessarily doing it. Never gave out candy as Cody Shane. No, I probably should have thought that'd be hard this Halloween. You know, you're giving me ideas, man. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone, but any trick or treating advice in 2023? Man, um, I would say don't let the little kids trick or treat by themselves. Um, have you a big sister, a big cousin, somebody that's old enough to. You know, make a call if something happens or take care of you and watch your back. Don't be alone, trick or treat with your friends. Don't go by yourself. And, you know, have a good time. Now, were you ever the type to decorate inside your house, outside your house? Were you any were you ever one of those types of houses during the Halloween season? Um, yeah, my mom definitely was a, a slight decorator. Uh, and, and again, my birthday is around Halloween, so it just would make sense. And I think now that my mom is getting older, she likes to decorate a little more, not for Halloween, more for like Christmas and like Thanksgiving and stuff like that. When I uh, when I got my first crib, I wasn't really decorating, but I don't know. As you, I feel like as you get older, things change. And speaking of your birthday being so close to Halloween, which is generally on October 31st, how was that treated? Was that treated any different because Halloween was right around the corner? Oh, I had a separate birthday Halloween for sure. And if my birthday was Halloween themed, then cool. And if it wasn't, then it wasn't. But it definitely was always two separate things. I thought, oh, you don't get presents on Halloween, so why should it be, you know, combined with my birthday? 